I know, I know the quality of this mic does not sound the same as my other videos, but let's try to get through this video because my mic is packed up somewhere else. Okay, EA and FIFA have split. FIFA asked for more money and Electronic Arts was like, nah. This means FIFA 23 will be the last game in the FIFA series. Will EA make sure that this series goes out with a bang? We will have to see. Right now, Electronic Arts is aiming for a big show in this month with games like Skate 4, Need for Speed, and of course, FIFA 23. So we will know more about the last FIFA title very soon. But for now, I'm Curtis Russell with Sports Gamers Online, and here is everything we know about FIFA 23. I wanted this video to be a refresher, maybe a reminder of some of the things that we already covered on sportsgamersonline.com and thrown in with a bit of rumors from very credible people that I think are very true when it comes to FIFA 23. So if you guys get any informative value from this video, make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe to Sports Gamers Online to keep up with all of our FIFA news. Okay, first things first, is FIFA 23 going to be free to play that is a absolute no now going forward with ea sports fc which is ea's newest football title or newest football series we're not too sure but when it comes to fifa 23 no fifa 23 will not be free to play i know that was kind of in the air after um after konami did it with eFootball. well look how look where that went no totally fifa will not be going free to play and that is i believe is a good thing i think the free to play model for sports games is very monetized and can go very wrong as you can see with eFootball. but FIFA will not be going down that route, which is a good thing. Next up, this is coming from games writer Tom Henderson, who's very reliable. He has said that the Women's Leagues and Women's World Cup is coming to FIFA 23, which uh, some of the leagues that have been suggested is the FA Women's Super League, Bundesliga, and the NWSL. I can see this happening totally. And the best part about it is if we have Women's Leagues and the Women's World Cup, there's probably going to be a Women's Player Career Mode maybe, and maybe we can dabble into that fifa if fifa over the last couple of years has been very like very big on female inclusion when you look at fifa 16 that finally included female players and the female international teams which is always great it's always great because every race gender uh ethnicity country continent they they all play football the whole world plays football and it's always good to have women inclusion and, and women in the game so it's great to have it. Next up, Juventus is back in FIFA 23. So sorry to all you Piedmonte Calcio fans. If you guys are fans of that fake team, um, unfortunately they are no more because Juventus is back. Of course, Piedmonte Calcio was the name of Juventus because they, because I believe it was Konami. Of course, Konami took the rights to Juventus. So they had to call the team Piedmonte Calcio. Hypermotion technology is getting an upgrade for FIFA 23. Of course, hypermotion technology was the base of the gameplay of FIFA 22 on next gen consoles. They put, EA put like 22 players in exosuits and they played a game of football and they took all that data and used the animations to make the game play feel more realistic. And they're going to keep upgrading that quote unquote tenfold, but now they're using like cameras from actual stadiums to record real life games like in the Premier League and La Liga and MLS and use that uh, information to make better animations, make better movements, just make better overall gameplay and make and upgrade hypermotion technology. So uh, in my own opinion, hypermotion technology is smoother. It does have better like aerial duels and things like that, but how it feels different from the actual like PlayStation 4, Xbox uh, One versions, the, the, it's not really night and day, but uh, it's a little different. I would like to see, a, I would like to see the, the gameplay definitely enhance more. And if Electronic Arts really leans this way, then I can see EA Sports FC benefiting from it. A massive rumor coming from Foot Zone that player career is getting some significant improvements on FIFA 23. Of course, FIFA 22 saw player career kind of get some improvements with the RPG style objectives, things like that. You can finally come off the bench, like you could finally come off the bench in FIFA 22. But I'm gonna read this list off for you guys. So uh, we have social media meant to be in FIFA 22, but it's going to be in FIFA 23, uh, tattoos, post-match, pre-match interviews and man of the match awards, options to extend your contract, training cut scenes, manager mode as well. Look, all that stuff sounds great, but I, I'm sorry, you guys. I gotta say it. 
when you look at the journey, when you look at FIFA 17, what was it? FIFA 17, FIFA 18, FIFA 19. You look at the journey. When you look at that mode, they had the social media, the tattoos, the post-match, pre-match interviews. They had all that. I mean, you were talking to real Ferdinand at one point. It was just an interview. You were talking to him and they had this story. And it's like, this is what, this is what makes me so mad about EA. They will take features out of a game that were already in the game. They will take it out and then put it back in years later and call it new. That's what that's what irritates me about this game sometimes is because we had the tattoos. It was all in the journey. It was all in there. Like you made the perfect player career, except you couldn't customize the player. You had to play as like Alex Hunter. You had to play as somebody. So like these things, these features were already in the game. Now you're ta you taking them out for like what? How the last one was like 19. So like you taking them out for two to three years for two, two to three FIFA titles. And now you're putting back in social media interactions, tattoos, post-match, pre-match. Like you, then you put it back in. It's just so annoying because it's so disrespectful to the people that play the game. It's so disrespectful. And I'm pretty sure people that play Madden feel the same. You take these features out and then you put them back in and say, well, that's new. No, it's not. It's not new. And then when you put them back in, it's watered down. I mean, it's good to have tattoos back in the game, but you had it in the game already. That's the frustrating thing. I thought FIFA 17 was going to be the turning point for this franchise because you were, you were, you, you just moved to the Frostbite engine. They just moved to the Frostbite engine with FIFA, with the FIFA games. And then you started making interiors, all this stuff. And you started making the storyline with a player career. You know, with the, with the whole player, Alex Hunter, you started making this whole player career storyline. And then you have all these things like tattoos and stuff, clothes and stuff like that. And it's like, oh, this is going to move. This is going to move seamlessly to like player career, maybe a manager. No, it didn't. You took it out. And now we're going to finally get it back. So congratulations, you guys. FIFA 23, we're finally getting features that we already had in it. Like, it's, it's just, it's so nerve wracking. It's so nerve wracking. You guys are going to get in the comments and be like, it's the same with Madden. It's the same. It's the same all the time. You guys know I don't like to rant all the time, but I'm sorry. I just had a rant about that. I'm so sorry. And last but not least, FIFA 23 will be released on September 30th. I mean, that's not too far fetched because FIFA 22 was released on October 1st, I believe. So I can definitely believe this release date. So make sure you guys get in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about any of the rumors, any of the news that we got for FIFA 23. Are you excited about the upcoming FIFA game? Uh, are you excited that it's the last FIFA game? Are you hopeful for EA Sports FC? Let us know in the comments. You guys can follow me on Twitter at Kelly from the Dojo, and I'll check you guys later. All right. Peace. If you guys like the content we do here on Sports Gamers Online, then hit that like button and subscribe to SGO right now. And if you want the most out of your SGO experience, then join SGO Insider.